Hi everyone, on this video we're going to go and download SQL Server Management Studio so that we can then access our database, connect to it, and start to play around with the different aspects of SQL Server. So first up we'll go to this link here which I will as always provide in the description and we will download the current general availability version right here. So click this link save and this is a fairly large installation file so I'll pause the video while this downloads it looks like the download has finished so now we'll go here and open it up and run this execution file Okay, so this prompt will come up and we can go ahead and click install. Okay, so again, I'm going to pause this while it goes ahead and completes. So that portion of the install has completed and it is now asking us to restart our computer in order to continue with the installation. So I'm going to do that now and we'll start the video again once my computer is back up. So now that my computer has restarted, it's time to check and make sure that everything installed. So if we go here to the start menu, recently added, we have a couple of things here. One specifically is SQL Server Management Studio. So let's open that up. And here we are. We have a, a connection prompt here. Now if you don't see your specific server name here, your PC name followed by your server, you can go browse for more, go to database engine, and you should see it there. So you can find it that way as well. Now, because we, if you remember before we set the authentication to Windows authentication, it's going to look at the current user and click connect and it'll should let you connect as long as you signed in back on with the same user. So now if you see here, we're connected. Everything is good. Everything is up and running. We have our basic databases here. The SQL Server agent is on because remember we set that to automatically turn on so there was nothing we had to do. So at this point we are successfully connected and good to go with SQL Server Management Studio. And in the next video we'll look to actually add in some data so that we can start to build out some tables and, and write some queries and really get into the heart of SQL and, and the things that SQL Server has to offer. So thanks again for watching.